I am glad to say I am happy to be here in 2018, still going strong. And I am happy to have everyone. And I see I'm getting more subscribers. Thank you very much, everybody, for subscribing to my channel. Um, today I have a, uh, a, a really nice uh, uh, bucket that I had actually gotten. Uh, well, it's got the... Uh, these are like ridged out a little bit so you can actually feel everything on the Hot Wheels emblem on this one. It's like a, a garbage can, but I have not used it, will not use it. Uh, I thought it was a really cool, it's it's a tin, um, a bucket, and it's really cool. I mean, the design on it was really nice. Um, I had actually bought this from where I usually get all my Hot Wheels uh, down to my friend Don's. And uh, I also have some uh, Hot Wheels inside that I was going to show many, many ones that I have in here. And uh, so I'll take them out and we'll uh, go through them. First one I have is the, uh... hey, Michael, how are you doing tonight, bud? Uh, you're on time. <laughs> I'm never on time. Um, this is uh, from uh, the uh, Star Wars collection that I have. Uh, the one side is Ray and the uh, First Order Flame Trooper. They have a really nice look to these, if it'll focus in. Hey, Dominic, how are you doing tonight, bud? And uh, the flame, the flame at Trooper is like, they have a really nice look to this one. Uh, this was for the, uh, there is another set that they have out, which is the Darth Vader versus Princess Leia. Um, has a really nice look to these ones. And the cool thing is the Hot Wheels had actually made the uh, full-size um, uh, Darth Vader car. It's really cool. If you look it up sometime on YouTube, it'll show the uh, full-size um, Darth Vader car. It'd be cool if they make the uh, the Stormtrooper ones. Because uh, the uh, Captain uh, Phasma, that's a really cool one. I like the design on that one. This one here is a really nice, cool look to it. This one is from... 2014 and uh, one of the other videos I did but it didn't really come out that clear I have the um, this is the Richard Petty RV um, I figured I would do this one in a better uh, uh, view of this one thought this was really really nice um, I mean it wasn't in the uh, the package when I had gotten this this was uh, also from uh, a good friend Don nice look to it you can see detailed work on this is really good no i i haven't gotten the uh the pictures yet bud uh i'll have to i have to look and see where they sent uh to my email and then it has the uh richard petty on the back of the uh, rv 43 on the top really nice rv and the next vehicle that i have Okay, I'll definitely check them out, bud. Is uh, this one here is the uh, Terrain Storm? This is uh, from 2015. Um, terrain Storm, really nice look to this one. If it'll focus, really cool. It's the Highway Snowstorm Edition or series, actually. Sorry. Has a nice uh, design on the top. Thought it was a really cool one. Like I say, I don't really, you know, it doesn't matter what I get. I don't, you know, go all hog wild and, and crazy for uh, just treasure hunt or super treasure hunt cars. I, I look for all different kinds, any kind of vehicle. Uh, the next one is, uh, this is from 2016. Uh, it's like a Christmas one. Um, it's got the uh, Santa Claus <laughs> and the Hot Wheel sleigh with the reindeer. Um and this is the automobile they have in it. It's called uh, Bedlam. Really cool. Happy holidays onto it. The engine sticks out of the back part. Hey, Val, how are you doing tonight? Happy New Year to everybody. I hope everybody had a, a good night. No hangovers and everything. Really good car. My next one is uh, a souped, really souped up fire truck. Uh, this is from the uh, Highway Rescue uh, series. It's called Backdrafter. Really cool one. 
has a nice look to it chromed out the front is really cool i just like the way that the way it looked and i i just had to pick that one up it had a spoiler on the back of it and everything really cool design next one uh this is an older this is an older model um this is from 1997 uh, let's see if it's, yeah, it's 1997, 98 first editions, 15 of 40 cars, Pikes Peak Celica, and, uh, has a really nice look to this one, just the way the race car looks, come on, you can do it, you can focus, thought it was a really cool Celica, Pennzoil on the front, Nice look to it. Spoiler on the back. And next car. Uh, this one here is, uh, let's see. Uh, basically, I believe this one's a 2006. Um, there's a lot of cars to this series, as you can see. Um, I have a lot of the uh, super, I have a, a few of the super chromes. Uh, not have, I haven't got a chance to get any of the, uh, low riders i do have some flying customs uh i have one of the i basically have the highway hauler in the uh flying customs but uh this one uh super chromes this is the uh um one of their motorcycles that they have for this edition really cool just the way it's got the chromed out look to it and everything with the flames onto it if you can see that detail to it or not Really nice look to this one. Fender looks cool. Everything on this one looks really cool on this one. And it's probably going to focus back out again. But it has a nice look. I, I really like some of these motorcycles that they do have. All right. The next car is the Taxi Rods. Um, it's the 1964 Chevy Impala. Oh, thank you, bud. Yeah, I, I try to find some uh, interesting motorcycles that they do have. Let me say, this is the uh, Taxi Rods 1964 Chevy Impala. It's like, I don't know if I would ever turn something like that into a taxi, though. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. It has a really nice look to it. Got a nice design on the front hood. Got a gold grill on the front of it. Gold rims, gold back bumper on it. But all in all, it's a nice design. Do have it does have a nice look to this one for an Impala. It's really nice. Next car, this one is from the Highway Speed Graphics series. Um, it is a Volkswagen. What is it? A K Fear Racer. Has a really low to the ground kind of style with the spoiler on the back of this one with Momo on the side. The fenders are like huge on the on this one. But it's really cool design to it. Does have a nice look to it. From as you can see, 2015. Let's see, next one is from the muscle mania series it's a 2015 dodge challenger love challengers and the way they look if it'll focus in nice look to it has a nice design i like the uh on the side there the way they got the design of it and, and everything it's really nice stands out a lot the only thing is i, I they would have um it would have been cooler to actually have a little bit more detail to the front of these but uh, it still has a nice look to it. Inside, red interior. Be nice to have one of them. Wait, I do! <laughs> let's see. The other cars I have in here. Um, let's see. Xperia Motors, one of ten. This was uh, one of the cars from Fast and Furious. Uh, it's a 1970 Dodge Charger. Um, it has uh, the full setup to it. It has the spare wheels that he, uh, when they modified the crap out of this car from uh, the one of the Fast and Furious, I can't remember which uh, 
which one it was, but uh, it had a really nice look to this one. I mean, it's, super, it's all like jacked up and everything, and it has the push bar. And uh, I mean, it was had full roll cage in this one in the movie, but I don't know if you can see it or not. If it does have, it doesn't look like it. It just has uh, uh, just the seats in that one, but uh, still a really nice car from 2015. Let's see what else I have in here. Uh, another one from the uh, Taxi Series, uh, Turbo Taxi Series. It's a 57 Chevy. 57 Chevys are really nice. Be a cool car to have in real life. Not the small car, but a full-size car. And uh, it has a really nice look to this one. Motor sticking out of the hood. Yeah, there was a sticker on this one. Uh, when I had gotten this, it looked like there was a sticker torn off. But all in all, it's still a really nice one. Uh, this is from 2000. Uh, I don't think you can see it on the bottom here. If it'll shine correctly. Uh, it won't shine too. The year on this one was a uh, 57 Chevy on this one. As you can see on the side, it says... Uh, the Taxi Series, 57 Chevy. Really nice one. 57s are the best do they have. And let's see. Next car is from Toon Series. It's a Dodge Charger Daytona. Yeah, the 50s were always the best. Dodge, this one's a Dodge Charger Daytona. They got this one all beefed out and stuff. You know, it's... They have these really styled out. Thought it was really nice. The way it looked was, uh, I mean, it's kind of like the funny kind of style, the way they make them. And I, I actually like the way they do some of these automobiles. Really nice look with the scoop. Well, actually, with the, I'm guessing it's like a human. Well, it's got the supercharger, but um, it looks really sweet. Yeah, it does, man. This thing is really sweet. Thank you. And let's see, moving on to another car. Uh, this one is the Highway Series time. This is Kit from Knight Rider. And it does have the red in the front. You can see the front of that without it. And it's trying to focus, but not too well. Really nice look to this one. That was always a good show to watch. I remember watching this one when I was growing up. And it's not going to focus in on the on the license plate. I was hoping it would focus in, but I guess not. It's not going to work. You gotta love phones. Come on. Are you going to work again? A little bit. Nope. Still not going to focus. Anyway, let's see what else I have in here. This is the Tune Series, the Chrysler 300C. And like I say, this one's like beefed up on uh, Miracle Girl like 10 times. I, was, I thought it was just oddball looking, and I was like, yep, that was one I had to have. It uh, stood out for some reason and definitely had to grab it. But it's a nice one. It has a nice look. The metallic uh, gray to it, it does stand out more. Um, I'm not sure if you can see the way the metallic is in the paint on that one or not. but. Uh, it's a real nice look to this one. And let's see, what else do I have in here? Uh, three more cars to go. Uh, this is another one from the uh, Taxi Rods. Uh, this is a 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. That'd be another automobile to, to have. Hey, Dennis. Oh, thank you, Michael. Yeah, 87. I was like, I, I'm, you know, I'm loving it. It's like having more friends than subscribers, and it's like I, I'm always grateful for everybody who comes onto the uh, the the channel and just wants to see, you know, different things. I mean, after the uh, uh, showing off the Hot Wheels, I have an item that maybe somebody out there might know where it's from. I try to look it up, and it's an antique uh, pewter uh, teapot, and I'll have to see if I can show you after I'm done here. As, like I say, this one is really cool. I wouldn't really turn these into any taxis, though. I wouldn't turn a 57 Plymouth or uh, or a 1950 uh, 
uh, Chevy or a 1970 Plymouth, I wouldn't turn these into uh, taxis one bit. I don't know about anybody else, but I sure as hell wouldn't. Has a nice look to the front hood on this one with the Plymouth on the front. The paint job is really cool. I mean, I do like the paint job onto it, but I just wouldn't put taxi on a Plymouth Roadrunner. And let's see. Now, one of these I had gotten had already, this one was already, the top was already cut on this one that when I got it. Now, this one is a final run car. It is a Auburn 852. As you can see, it says right here on the, on the front of that, it's a final run. 11 of 12, Auburn 852. This one's a really nice classic car. It has the metallic brown onto it with, uh, it's like an offset color brown. It's like a, uh, like a goldish brown, but very light. And uh, on the top here, and it looks really amazing on this one. And it also has the, uh, uh, the light will go out of that spot. Um, if it'll focus, let's, sorry about that. I apparently uh, have crappy signal with, well, I go through Cricket, and apparently uh, they can't get service up here that good, even though I've got 50 million towers around me, and apparently Cricket, if you're listening, Cricket, find a way to get better signals on towers. I'm on the top of a mountain, and I should be able to get any signal around from every tower that I could possibly think of. Anyways, hopefully everybody's still here. Um, like I was saying, it does have you were freaking out. I know you weren't the only one because I was like talking. I looked up and all of a sudden the signal drop and I was like, oh no, crappy cricket. <laughs> you step on a cricket. Like I said, it shows the final run on the back of this one. It has the brown uh, and it has a really nice detail to this one. I thought it was really nice. Uh, the year on this, I'm not sure because uh, being it's an, a final run and the package was cut. It doesn't show the uh, the year up on the top here. I do apologize for that one. And my final car is the uh, this one is the uh, Steel Beast series. Um, it's called the Turbo Rooster. Um, even though it doesn't look really like a rooster, but it's just like it's called the Turbo Rooster. Um, and some Japanese writing on the top here, number seventeen. I'm like, thank you, bud. Yeah, because. I, I like doing these live versions because I get to talk to you guys at the same time. Plus, with the way my signal is through my computer, like I was saying, I, you know, my paying for high speed and I'm getting low speed and there's nothing really else that's available up here. Um, Spectrum uh, has not come up the hill and Frontier hasn't come up the hill. The only one that's up here, like I say, is, is TDS, and which I apologize because the upload for it is basically... I think if I uploaded one video that was probably t not even 10 minutes, I could probably have it downloaded probably by second Tuesday of next week. I mean, that's how bad it gets. And I'm like, yay, I could bake 50 cakes and solve world hunger in one day before that thing comes up. But let me put these all back in here, and then I will show you guys the... Uh, uh, let me just put these in here neatly. So many of them that I, I can't remember how they went back in there. Okay, let's see. I'll stack them over here like this, and that goes in there like that. And I hope everybody's having a great night tonight. Um, I'm not sure what everybody else was doing, but I was, you know, having, I was around here with the kids and everything, and then had to take the wife to work and stuff. But oh no, somebody else is writing to me. Uh, oh, that was my sister. <laughs> now the um, the pewter uh, teapot that I I've gotten this from my cousin. And it was in an old mill. And let me clean up a little bit of the dust since it's been sitting on the shelf. Um, it, uh, it was sitting in an old mill, and then it was turned into a garage um, and stuff. But they had this sitting in one of the corners, I guess. And uh, But it's – this is really old. I mean, it's uh, a really nice pewter uh, – you know, because I'm guessing it's a it's a teapot. I mean, just the way it looks. I mean, it has still the original handle onto this. But the only thing at one time must be uh, long ago, as you can tell, they must have uh, had to change the this section here on top of the because it's not the original. But it's 
in excellent condition. I mean, I, I've seen some online, but I I can't find this exact one. Um, even you know, I, I look for even a different top on this, you know, like the original one, but I'm not sure. Um, but the numbers, if I show you, maybe one of you might know where this came from because I don't really know how to read some of these numbers. If it'll come on, if you can see that stamp, it says on here, uh, James Dixon and Sons. But it's got a 14, and then, come on, focus. Focus, people. It's got a 14, and then there's a little space on there um, with the 89. Come on, focus. If you can see it right there, I'm not sure. But it's got, below the James Dixon area, it shows a 29, and then in the, on the, um, the end of where it says Sons, uh, there's a number 8. So I'm not sure... Um, you know, I've, I've tried to figure out, I mean, I've only looked up on Google James Dixon and sons and try to find, uh, pictures and go through, uh, I mean, as many pictures I could possibly think of, of this one, but it's, uh, it's been a really rough to find anything, you know, of this style. I mean, I've seen other, other styles of it, but nothing, you know, nothing that has the wooden handle on to it, but it's. I mean, for mint condition, except for at one time years ago, they had changed out the, well, I mean, just that little piece to open up the top, but um, I can't find this this kind. I mean, the ones I've been finding doesn't have a wood handle, but there is a different style. But having the original handle on this, um, that's pretty good. I mean, you can't go wrong for, you know, I mean, there's, it's it's rounded it's not really yeah it's definitely different michael it's uh i mean it is definitely an antique but you know it's never been i've never touched you know gone through um the only thing i've noticed like on this section here it's been ground down a little bit but uh you know it's not broke it's just been grounded down i don't know if you know just handling it so much or whatever but everything else i mean it's totally still there. It's, you know, it's not been broke off or anything. And I mean, that's a good thing. That's, that's always a plus, but, uh, I'm hoping maybe tomorrow, uh, guys that I, and gals that, um, I should get some stuff in the mail from, uh, like I was saying, I got, um, zing dot store. Um, actually going to be, uh, I'm guessing that'd be my wife's phone going ballistic behind me or something. What the heck was that? Was that your phone? Okay. Uh, I'm guessing now that uh, my daughter's, uh, I think my daughter's tablet just went ballistic over here. It was just like out of the blue. It just went nuts. Hmm. I think having uh, possessed stuff that was shut off but just automatically comes on. You know what? Made in China. Made in China. But uh, I'm glad everybody came on tonight. Um, I had to pick up the chair. <laughs> I come out of the chair so quickly that it fell over. Sorry about that. And I'm walking around. But uh, I I hope everybody has a, a great new year. I mean, this is 2018. Um, I'm hoping everybody is going to be happy with this year. I'm, I'm going to hope to be um, going strong for everybody here on the channel. I want to um, show more, you know, and talk more to everybody. Um, I love how I watch a lot of your uh, a lot of your um, videos. Uh, I try to watch them all uh, from everybody that I, I watch. Val, um, oh my gosh, there's so many of them. There's Tech and Review. There's I have a, a, a couple of new ones that are uh, you, know, you know drone enthusiasts that I, I definitely watch them, and um, and I love everything that I watch. I mean that's. That's the best thing. And I try to talk to everybody as soon as it comes out. And there's ones, as soon as I see that sometimes that are at 1.30 in the morning, 2.30 in the morning, like I say, I don't <laughs> I don't sleep. Well, if I do, it's when my back finally comes down and then I'll watch whatever I miss the next morning. But uh, yeah, I love, I love talking to everybody and uh, definitely uh, checking out everybody's videos. I love everything, especially food. Uh, the food ones, 
there that's what makes my gut gurgle as soon as i see some of the uh the stuff that you guys are cooking excellent stuff then i'm hungry and then i'm always looking for more stuff and i'm like eh, trying to lose weight don't work too well but uh <laughs> but love you guys i thank you very much for uh coming on tonight and checking out some of the hot wheels that i had plus that antique i mean if any of you uh you know have have know anything about antiques or know anybody with antiques um like I said, let me know in the comments below uh, if you know anything about that style or that model that's on there. Let me know. Good night, Michael. You guys have a good night. Val, Dennis, everybody who came on tonight. Love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your night and take care. God bless. And I'll definitely be on tomorrow night. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.